I got here and there was a lot more of an issue getting into the hotel than I um, was expecting and uh, including a hundred dollar deposit um, on the room so that was pretty dumb because it's like I had already spent everything that I had um, on the hotel room and getting here in the first place and they were about to turn me away even though it's like yeah this was the only place that I could afford so if they had turned me away I would have been screwed and then the, the desk guy was trying to give me some trouble about having Satan and I, I was explaining to him that she's a service dog and he just wasn't like wasn't getting it and I showed him the card and you know he called up his like manager and stuff and was all like oh what do I do and uh you know obviously they were like well you have to let them in because you know that's a service dog I'm eating pizza right now it's a mm. so by the time I finally got in the room um you know I was like starving and uh so I immediately ordered some food and it literally just got here. Cause I'm kind of in the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, it's, yeah, it sucks. Today's been kind of a bullshit, not super fun day. Yesterday was super fun. We had a really great day. Um, it was, yeah, we had a fun, awesome day. But um, yeah, today has been pretty fucked. Mm. Because, like, you know, at first it was, like, we were up on our rooftop spot, and I realized, like, how bad her her paws were looking and how much it was hurting her. Because I took her down to go potty in the morning, and she could barely, like, walk. I pretty much had to carry her down. And I felt so fucking bad. Um... I felt so terrible, and I was like, I can't, there's no way, like, she can't even hardly get down the stairs and outside to go potty, like, you know, she's, she's in pain, she's all mopey. I cleaned up her paws, um, you know, washed them off, uh, really good with some water and soap, that's why I was run. I, w I started running low on water, so that was another problem, um, and I, I wrapped him up. I'll show you in a sec. I just got to eat this slice of pizza because I, I can't even think. I'm just so fucking hungry. Because I haven't, I didn't go anywhere all day because I was like, what am I going to do? And I kept trying to um, search around. I searched Airbnbs, hotels, campgrounds. Um, at one point, I was thinking about getting a really long Uber ride up to... Um, a truck stop or something so then you know at least I could shower and we could like camp out but it's it's gonna be raining here pretty soon worst case scenario we would have had to stay at that um, abandoned warehouse and um, I would have had to we would have had to stay inside like in the actual warehouse area like which would have been kind of sketch, probably wouldn't have get, gotten good sleep, because, like, you know, who knows who's going to come in and out. At least on the roof, it was, like, there was, like, three floors between whoever might be coming in and me, and I'd hear him coming up, but nobody was really coming up to the rooftop. Mm. But inside the warehouse... It was just like, you know, garbage everywhere and like mold and shit like that. Oh, it sounds like, hold on, let me check. I gotta get this grease off my hands here. Hold on. Hey, don't do that. Oh, thank you, Jesse. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, today's been fucking... It's been wild. Thanks, Low Spring Acres. I appreciate that. 
Thanks, folks. Thanks for the kickdowns. Yeah, all proceeds go directly to um, Satan. Here, I'll show you the baby. She's all tucked in, and she's got her paws all wrapped up. She's very sad about it. It bored. So sad. Oh, it's a baby. Don't lick it. Don't do that. She says, why? But why? Oh, sweetie. Oh, the baby. Here, why don't you stay tucked in, Dingus? Look, <laughs> she's trying to bury her face. Here, come here. That's not how you get tucked in, baby. Here, come here, bub. Scoot your butt. Put your head on the pillow. Like a people, okay? There you go. There you go. Now we tuck you in. There we go. Yes. There's the baby. You want to curl up? There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's she's all she's all sad and in pain. She's just like, uh, why why we no go out and play?" And then she tries to get up and remembers that her paws are all fucked up. So sad. So yeah, I've been feeling kind of like shitty today just because my dog's feeling shitty. Mm. And um I spent all all the money I had. Mostly it was from fucking Noah yesterday. Um so that's that's why we're able to afford this, but like like looking at the all of the hotel rooms in this whole area like are mostly like 170 to 200 plus dollars and same with the airbnbs they're all like over a hundred dollars or so it's so dumb um so now like today we were supposed to be hitchhiking up the highway um toward um our next spot but obviously that can't happen because my dog can't walk and I'm already carrying all the gear so I can't carry her too um oh thanks Paul Taylor that's really sweet of you yeah the this was the cheapest hotel I could find and it was like a hundred and eighteen dollars so that took like between that and the Uber ride to get here and this food, that was like everything I had at this point. Um, but it had to happen. You know, I'm just glad I could find something that I could afford. Um, Cause like, I mean, we could have camped out in the bush tonight, which just would have been some real shit, um, and I definitely would have been taking overs to find, you know, go somewhere. Oh, wow, you guys are showing a lot of love, love for Satan. Thanks, Hannah. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Fuck yeah. How long to heal up? I don't know. I would guess, like, it's, her paws are looking pretty gnarly. Like, I, I think she just, like, did a really good slide on some, like, rocks or something sharp while we were playing yesterday. And I just didn't notice because, like, you know, when she's playing, she doesn't really care about anything else. Um, so, I mean, yeah, she probably just, like, slid on some rocks while we were throwing the ball yesterday and, and just, like, ate up her little, little puppy pads. Um, but... Yeah, I, I forget what I was talking about. I'm, I'm just, like... <laughs> Fucking, yeah, it, I don't know, and be, being around here, like, I'm, I'm, like, a, a bus ride away from New York City, and, uh, you know, I'm, like, right near the New York, New Jersey kind of border, it's just, like, suburban sprawl as far as the eye can see, um, 
in and it just sucks. Uh, I have some aspirin. I don't have baby aspirin. There's like nothing around here. This is just like an industrial area. There's like this pizza came from really far away. <laughs> um, there's no convenience stores, no nothing. I don't know. It's just like a weird, weird fucking area. Um, I have given her like a small amount of kratom before, like um, we can't remember what it was for. Um, she was like having a really hard time with something. I don't remember if she was in pain or if she was like I think she was just scared of fireworks maybe. Um, and somebody told me like, oh thanks, okay, hey, I appreciate that so much. Um. But just FYI, folks, if you, if you do want to kick down and help out Satan while she's healing up, um, the YouTube uh, super chat does not get to me until, like, the end of every month, and they take, like, 30% of it. I do appreciate it when you guys do that, but if you want to donate directly, then you're going to want to hit the Patreon, or not Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, or Cash App links. Um, hmm. Because then, then I can withdraw it directly instead of having to wait for my YouTube payout. Um, but whatever's easier for you. Um, but, yeah, it's... So anyway, I, I gave her some, like, I just took, like, a little fingerful and, like, you know, licked my finger and dipped it in my kratom and, like, kind of rubbed it inside of her mouth and that seemed to calm her down really really good um she wasn't like fucked up or anything but it was like just enough to kind of chill her out um i think that would probably be good for for the pain too um i should probably try that i was about to mix myself up some kratom too and chill the fuck out because i'm fucking Kind of stressed, man. Like, I mean, it's not like anything, anything else really bad happened other than, you know, Satan not feeling good, which, of course, is going to make me sad and, and upset. Um, but also the fact that we can't move now. Um, and, yeah, we're not, I can't, I can't hike with her. And I'm, I'm alone. I'm traveling just me and my dog. So it's not like... I can leave her behind with somebody to go and do stuff. Like, I have to have her with me. So now I'm fucked. Like, I can't walk across town to go get supplies because I can't leave her here. They almost didn't let us in here anyway. So if she's here while I'm not and she starts barking at something, we're going to get fucking kicked out of here. So I'm essentially trapped. Um, like, unless we can Uber somewhere, we're fucked. Um, that means, like, no hiking, no hitchhiking. No riding trains, fucking no wandering around in the woods. Like, we're fucked. <laughs> For probably, I, I'd say I'd give her like three days, maybe. Um, probably as long as we, I can, you know, let her baby her paws for like three days, she should be able to walk around. Um, you know, normally. Thanks, in Texas. I, I appreciate that. Uh, Captain, they, they can't legally. That doesn't mean that they won't. That's the thing. Like, if that guy could have told me to fuck off, he totally would have. And, yeah. It's... I don't know. Like, they don't care. They don't give a fuck. Like, it sucks. People out here are so, like... Just, you know, hustle culture. All they care about is money. Like... Mm, and, you know, their own personal convenience and shit. Like, the, there was an Airbnb that I was going to get um, in town there. And um, <clears throat> it was, like, $49, and then it came out to, like, 80 bucks after tax. And I was like, okay. Um, and I sent the guy a message, and it took him, like, hours to respond. But I was like, hey, I have a service dog. Um, just want to make sure that's cool before I make the booking so I don't screw myself over. Um, just gotta let you know that. And he said, like, oh, I can't have animals here at my Airbnb because I'm very allergic. He doesn't fucking live there, you know? Like, he's got 
I saw a ton of other properties listed that he owned in the in the area, and like, yeah, he can't turn me down for having a service dog, like legally, but he can, and it's not worth my, you know, my time and trouble to fight it. I don't have that kind of fucking time. I, you know, we just need somewhere to be. Um, so it's pretty dumb. Um, looks like, oh, thank you. Patty Nakano and Stephen Northrup, thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. Um, yeah, so maybe tomorrow we'll, like, get an Uber or something and go to a campground. Now that we're a little further up the road, maybe there will be something that's not, like, an insane distance away that I can actually afford to get us to. Mm. Especially with y'all's help. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Saying appreciates it. Like. Yeah. It just sucks. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of. Kind of upset. <laughs> hey baby. Satan's not. She wants some of my pizza. I gave her a second breakfast today. Because. She was just so sad. Look at this dingus. You got your little ear flipped up, dum-dum. Look at you. What are you doing? <laughs> You're so funny. That's my sweetie. No. Oh. You really think you're gonna get a slice of pizza? No. You got so many treats today, dude. That's why you're spoiled. You don't even know how spoiled you are. You don't even know. She's like, yeah, and I don't give a fuck. Give me your pepperonis. <laughs> yeah, sweetie. Yeah. I'll give her more treats after after this. She's fine though. I don't I don't need her getting an upset stomach in this hotel room. <laughs> Kevin says I would fuck someone's life savings and sue the fuck out of them. Yeah, man. For sure. I just don't I don't have the time and the patience and the resources for that shit right now. I'm just trying to fucking pass through. <laughs> In Texas says, I'm my le next life I'm coming back as corn dog. Seriously, man, it must be nice. It must be nice, huh, pup? You just sit back and let me handle all the things. You get tucked in, you get treats. When it's cold, you get to be in the sleeping bag while I do all the hitchhiking. And then you get to you get to run around in the woods and go and swim in the lake and chase the ball and sniff all the things. You don't even know why. You don't even know why. <laughs> you don't even know why. You just get all the good things and never any of the bad things. Except for when you scrape your little paws up because you're chasing the ball too hard. Dingus. <laughs> She's so bored. Look at this fucking bored dog. <laughs> She's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Why'd you get so cute? Why'd you get so cute? <laughs> What's that face about? She's like trying to be cute, but she's also bored and in pain. What a dingus. Yeah, that's right, Elena. Get you someone who looks at, who looks at you the same way Satan looks at me. <laughs> oh, the babies. Yeah. Yeah. I just took her outside um, before the stream. 
So she got to go potty and stuff, but just like, even just walking outside on the sidewalk, she was like, you know, really having trouble with that. Her paws are really caught up. Like, not like, I don't know. It, I don't know what the fuck she did exactly. Like, cause I didn't catch it while we were playing either. I just, I don't really, it had to have happened while we were playing out there, but like she didn't limp the whole way back or anything. Maybe she just was still really amped up and didn't notice until this morning. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, so um, a number of folks already threw down and some really, really nice folks threw down yesterday and that's why we're able to be here right now. Um, but if you want to throw down for the, the beautiful Satan to continue to heal up, um, there's, there's PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App links in the description. Feel free, you know. Oh, I dropped a pepperoni. You are one lucky dog. Don't get up, I'll come to you. Nice. Are you okay? Don't puke on the bed, please. We don't need that right now. Yeah, we don't need that right now. Do you want your little squeaky toy? See, she's not even, like, jumping up when I'm asking her stuff either. Usually she'd be, like, jumping up and, like, running around, but she knows that it hurts. Let's get your little squeaker. She's got this gross-ass muddy pop tart toy. Let's see, where is it? Here we go. Look at this gross thing. Here you go, Dingus. Get it. You don't even care. Yeah, okay. Spoiled. Spoiled jerk. Yes. She's the real star of the show. Satan pulls all the strings. I'm just, uh, I'm actually her service animal. That's just, uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, uh, what is it? Like, some kind of demonic slave that's bound to serve my dark lord. <laughs> yeah, it could have been some, like, glass or metal shit that she, like, tore ass over that I didn't see or something. I don't know. I wish that I had noticed it then. Yeah, she's not really herself right now. She's such a fucking... Such a sad, sad, bored dog. It's okay. She'll be better in a few days. But yeah, for now, we're just gonna have to fucking take it easy. It sucks. There's this, like, wildlife preserve with, um, like, um, it's like a state park type of thing with campgrounds there. So maybe what I'll do after I charge everything up here and get cleaned up and, um, rewrap Satan's paws, um, tomorrow morning. We can take an Uber up to, um, you know, whatever the fuck that is, and uh, just hang out there for another couple days and chill. Because even if I could afford this hotel room for another night, I don't want to. Like, it's, it's, you know, for that much money, I can make myself even more comfortable sitting in the woods. You know, if I want to get clean, whatever, it's like, 
a buck fifty, two bucks for a gallon of water, or I could go and, you know, collect some water somewhere. Maybe there's a river or something. Probably a dirty river, though. Everything's dirty around here. Fucking sick of it. Yeah, this area sucks. I'm getting the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. I'm going north. Honestly, like, even just two hours up the road, you know, it's just all woods. The fucking... Fucking vending machines here only take cash, which sucks. I was trying to go down and buy myself a soda or something earlier, and they don't take card. I'm like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna drink some kratom about it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink a lot of kratom. I'm gonna get high as fuck, and I don't know. I'm gonna watch cartoons on my phone because I hate TVs and never have anything good on. I don't personally enjoy being in of doors. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know that. Satan doesn't either. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm pretty much, I'm tomorrow morning, get up early. I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna be like searching on my phone everywhere and um, seeing what our best option is moving forward tomorrow but you know one thing's for sure I'm, I'm not gonna make her walk more than like a couple dozen yards at a time because she doesn't need that shit oh look at this nice salad damn that's that's a salad all right I'm not gonna eat that on camera because I'm gonna eat. I'm just gonna dig into it like a fucking savage oh hey it comes with bread that I can't eat. But you know who can eat it? You know who can eat it? Yeah, Satan doesn't need to get checked out. I, like... She, we, don't, we don't need a vet. We just need a place to be where she doesn't have to walk. We don't need... I don't need somebody to tell me that her paws are fucked up. I can already see that they're fucked up. We just, yeah, we just need somewhere to be while she heals up. Look at this little princess. Look at that little princess with her little, little baby paws all hurt. I'm so sorry, baby. All right, let's get you another braid. I'm gonna save the rest of these so you don't get sick. Hey Dingus, I'm gonna get you some water, okay? Oh, your water bottle or your water water dish is in my mandolin case. There we go. I am gonna take a fucking shower after this. I have some nice salve, salve for her paws. I don't. There's nothing I need. We. I have everything I need. I've got. I've got the bandages. I've got the salve. Like literally, all we need is just to fucking sit. Hey, Satan. Come here. Come here, bub. I can't give it to you on the bed. You gotta come here, bub. There you go. Good girl. Drink water, baby. See, she's being so tender on her little paws. Sweetie. They got cut up real bad. You want to lay back down? You want help? You got it? Okay. Good girl. No, don't like him. 
Love you, babe. Yeah, that's like, I mean, it would be, uh, well, what, here, I'll show you what I got, um, for, let's see, don't lick your paws, I'll show you what I got for, um, the salve and the wrap. Saddlebags, pup. Oh, here they are. Oh, found a little, little extra piece of one of her bully sticks. That's nice. There you go, sweetie. There you go. Nice. So this is, um, you know, I cleaned off her paws real good. Um, wash them off, and then there's this, uh, wonder salve, it's like, uh, calendula, john's wort, chickweed, olive oil, beeswax, lavender, blue chamomile, that sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then I, uh, wrapped her paws with this stuff, and it's, it's nice, because it, like, sticks to itself. Um, I use it on me all the time. I should definitely pick up another roll of this because it's um, it's pretty nice to have and I'm running low on it now. After I wrap Satan's paws a second time, I'm not going to have any left. Um, but yeah. So, you know, there's, there's nothing more that, that anybody else could do. It's just, um, you know, I just need to get more med supplies in, um, yeah, campground to chill. Yep, just need some time, keep her little peet, uh, her little feets up, her little paws up. Terry Joe, oh, thanks for the kickdown, by the way. Terry says, sorry I missed you in Philadelphia. That's, that's all right, I wasn't there for very long. Now that we're 40 minutes into the stream, you tell how well you got her covered. Um, oh, yeah, she's, we're, yeah, we're fine. Um, <clears throat> like I said, um, and, and all of those nice kickdowns that folks, um, folks made during the stream and during the last stream, um, will help, especially like, you know, yeah, mostly, mostly what I'm concerned about is just like being able to afford Uber um, and I'm definitely not looking to fucking pay for another hotel room. Um, yeah. Just let I take care of Reaper. Yeah, that's right, man. You gotta take care of your babies. She's my, my dark queen. Yes, guys, I know that it's important to let the wounds breathe. Don't worry. This ain't my first rodeo, guys. I've been living off-grid in the wilderness for over a decade now. Um, I got it covered. I know what to do when my dog or myself gets hurt. <laughs> I, I definitely don't need... Hey, don't lick that. Definitely don't need um, advice. Just need funds, honestly. That's, that's about it. Um, yeah. Because today fucking took out everything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Fuck. I, I have been getting some really nice, um... Ooh. Some really nice footage of our travels and documenting everything that's been going on. Um. So that's really cool and exciting. Um. But... You know, like I said yesterday, there's not anything that I can 
do about it until I get back to my car or where my computer is and start actually editing it. It's, it's going to be a whole thing. Oh yeah, I was going to do some Kratom. <laughs> No, licking does not help heal it. She's got bandages on. She's just eating bandage, dude. And the salve. Salve and bandaging helps heal it. Thanks for joining us in Texas. Yeah, we will. Appreciate you. And um, definitely appreciate your your kickdowns uh, last, yeah, many, many streams, too. Thank you. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, my drinking water is pretty low. I don't know what the water is like around here, but at least I got my water filter. I'm gonna do a big fat scoop of this shit. Dear Lord. Other than... Other than Satan getting hurt, um, it's been a really fucking cool trip. Like, that bando that I was in yesterday and most of this morning was super cool. And there was all, like, you know what's sad, though, is, um, all that instant coffee. Like, each of those cans of instant coffee is worth, like, 13 to 14 bucks on eBay. It's, um, it's, it's a popular one, and I can see why, because it's goddamn good. I was drinking it all, all yesterday and this morning. It's, it's delicious. I, I put some in a little container in my backpack, too, so, you know, I got some for the road, but, um, so I collected, I, there was some other supplies there. There was, um, a bunch of flour tortillas next to the coffee and stuff, and I took all the flour tortillas out of their boxes and stacked, um, like 18 cans of that instant coffee to, to each of those boxes of, um, that had tortillas in them. And, um, so each, each box that I packed was about $200 worth of nice instant coffee. And I was going to mail those out to some friends today, um, and have them pay me um, for shipping and then a little bit extra for the effort and then they can take those coffees and sell them on eBay and make money. Um, so I had to leave behind like $800 worth of instant coffee that I was going to mail out to my friends behind at that fucking warehouse because my dog is hurt. So that's another thing. I feel like so sad that's like the thing about doing adventure shit is like you you go out and you find treasure right but then you realize like oh yeah i'm a lowly adventurer on foot with a backpack and i'm already carrying as much gear as i can like how the fuck am i am i gonna take this bountiful treasure that i have and like actually do something with it you know you find when you're adventuring out just out in the world you find treasure all the time straight up like like real actual shit that's worth something you know it's it's not all like like dragon scales and jewels it's like you know fucking actual material goods like that like nice instant coffee that's been discontinued and it's really popular um like <laughs> uh i was like i was like yo i could post up here in this warehouse for another couple of days and just run back and forth to the post office mailing this shit out and um and you know getting getting paid like 50 100 bucks here and there from the friends and um you know everybody wins um i did stash a couple of boxes hopefully nobody gets into them but i don't i don't think i'm going back like i already paid like 40 bucks to get this far up the road by uber there's no buses that run up this way Ugh. 
I mean, I know it's like a, a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of um, amount of stuff that I left behind and what it's worth, but like also there's the whole like physical effort of getting back there um, plus like you know I can't be running around that like that was the main thing like how the fuck am I going to run back and forth from this warehouse to mail this expensive instant coffee that I found buried in there um, when my dog's hurt like she can't run back and forth to the post office with me I'm not gonna leave her on the roof of an abandoned warehouse while I run you know uh, half a mile each way uh, and then spend some time at the post office, like, putting shit together and paying for shipping and whatnot. It's, like, there's, that's just not gonna happen. It's not feasible. So because of that, ow, I just bit my lip again. There's, yeah, there's all that shit just laying in there. It's fucking heartbreaking. It's fucking heartbreaking. Colonel, you missed it. I had to leave $800 worth. Well, there was more. I just had $800 worth of it packaged up. Some uh, nice instant coffee that I found in this fucking abandoned warehouse. And I had people asking about it, too. They wanted to buy it. They wanted me to ship it out. And I was going to do that today. Make some money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I quickly realized that my dog is too injured to do that. So we left town. Left piles of treasure in that warehouse. So sad. So sad. Hey, anyway, there's a nice, um, nice parking lot sunset. There's a pool too. I'm almost tempted to go down. I don't know when the pool closes, but I'm kind of tempted to go down and sit in that fucking hot tub, honestly. Mm hmm. I don't know. Mm. All that, all that coffee, just right through my fingers, right through my grimy fingers. <laughs> so sad. There was other stuff there too. I'm sure some of it was worth money too. God damn it. Now if I was passing through here with my car, then I could have just loaded it up in my car and we could be driving and then I wouldn't have to get hotel rooms. I could just drive to the middle of nowhere and say it wouldn't, Satan wouldn't have to walk at all. But um, we're, we're backpacking right now. So it's a different story. Yeah. Yeah. I I guess I should have like assumed that this type of thing would happen at some point. But I just kind of didn't really think about it. I don't know. Satan's like indestructible. She's like she's always good. She's always fine. Um so I just kind of I, I didn't really have a contingency plan for that. I mean, I guess, you know, obviously like Dogs get hurt, and that's that's a reality of life. Um, and, and of course, I always figured, like, you know, what would I do if that were to happen? And this is it. Post up somewhere. Um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of got blindsided by that. You know, we were we had plans for today. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. No. Uh, now we're sitting here. Colonels in Northern California. Cool, man. Hell yeah. It's gorgeous up there. Probably a great time of year. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, it is a great time of year to be up there right now. Um, holy shit. Susan Campbell just kicked down. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. What happened to Satan? Her paws are all fucked up. Her front paws got scraped up. Um, pretty sure yesterday while we were playing fetch, um, but like neither of us really noticed it until this morning. Um, 
They're, yeah, they're pretty bad. I got them all wrapped up. Reminds me of those parables. How do you get number of something to some destination with the least amount of effort slash travel? Never had an injured dog in the scenario. Right, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I, my day plan was just like pack, you know, I, I figured I could carry two Two of the big boxes and send them out at a time, maybe four if I was, you know, if I could find some kind of cart. Cause there was like a bunch of stuff in the warehouse too. I probably could have found some type of cart or something. Um, or like, I, I mean, I looked around it. There was like some, some nice, like, like dolly jacks. There was a nice one in there for the fucking pallets, like just sitting there, you know? I mean, you can't drag that down the the street, I guess, but like, that would have been funny as fuck. It was, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> just, just a whole like, fucking dolly, like with pallet on it, dragging it down the sidewalk. Um, yeah, I was gonna carry like two, two boxes at a time to the post office, mail them out to different, a couple different folks, go back and do it again. Um, but yeah, can't do that with an injured dog. Here, Colonel, you can look at the Satan. Look, she's got her little paws all bandaged up. Sweetie. She's like, why you touch? It hurt. Sweet baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. I'm sorry, pup. I'm sorry you're hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna take the bandages off of her in a little bit. Let her, uh, let her air them out a little. Um, maybe, maybe wash him in the, in the tub a little bit. Yeah, I know, she's so sad. <laughs> she's, like, she's just been so mopey all day. It, it kind of, kind of makes me sad too. So I'm kind of, I've just kind of been in like a fucky mood all day and just like stressed out because I wasn't sure what the fuck we were going to do. Oh, thank you, Heather Perry. Fuck, you guys are fucking wonderful. That's good. Yeah, my my day is definitely going a lot better. Um, n knowing that, that we're uh, going to be able to keep moving without without having her in pain. Probably just, oh, man, I wonder if there's like, I wonder how far I can get on public transit out of here. I just want to get like out, out of this suburban sprawl and, you know, back to the woods where things make sense. Um, yeah, like I said earlier in the stream, probably what I'm going to do is um, spend the rest of the evening after I take a nice shower and stuff um, looking up campgrounds on, on the way north and um, arrange to get there because, you know, it costs fucking 118 bucks for this hotel room. It cost 40 bucks to get here from where I was. Um, it sucks. <laughs> Um, with that amount of money, you know, I could get a really long Uber ride to somewhere that's actually really beautiful and just like post up there until Satan feels better. Mm. Ooh, that cradle's hidden. Yeah, it's getting there. I'm just glad that we were able to get a hotel room. I'm really grateful for that. Um, and I'm grateful that I had enough um, to get some food today. And, you know, 
and that I can charge my stuff now because when we were sitting on that rooftop and it was overcast, I couldn't charge my things or run out of water. Satan's in pain. I was just like, fuck, what am I doing here? What are we going to do? Oh, thanks, guy. <laughs> Good doggy parent. Yeah, anything for my baby. That's true. And, you know, same, like, that's, uh, it's from you guys too. Like this, is, you, you guys are the ones throwing down so that she can be nice and nice and taken care of. How much is a greyhound ticket? I don't know. I'll look into that uh, tonight and see. Um, I don't know that's that's the other thing. That's why I'm like kind of butthurt. You know what I mean? Like, cause I was really looking forward. Like there there was a point where I was thinking of just walking my ass all the way up to like. Um, northern New York, like, northeastern New York, and just, like, walking, because it's, like, you know, it's, like, 160 miles up to there, and I was, like, you know, I got all the time in the world, like, it, if I walk, like, 10 miles a day, um, 10 to 15 miles a day, um, and just, like, bus a little bit, in between places like you know just take my time then I can see the countryside and like enjoy myself do a lot of camping get a lot of exercise blah 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 like that was my original plan that's what I wanted to do just wanted to backpack take my time and just like you know head north um, but yeah obviously that's um that's not feasible now. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a travel companion or something, then I could be like, um, you know, why don't y'all take the Greyhound up and I'll walk up and meet you or something. You know, because it's like, it's like a two and a half hour drive from here up to like the Albany area. Um, and... It, yeah, if I walked like 10, 20 miles a day, I could be up there in like, you know, a week and a half or less, and that would be really cool. I don't know, um, but yeah, obviously, it's not going to happen. But at least I'll be, you know, I mean, I, I don't have like a particular time frame or destination. I just wanted to explore the area during this time of year because I thought it'd be fun and you know it's not over it's I'm just gonna have to calm the fuck down and just like sit for a few days it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem for me <laughs> it's gonna be a problem for Satan too because Satan is just as restless if not more restless than I am I swear she's gonna be fucking she's gonna be going crazy tomorrow because we didn't play today Jersey is cursed. I've never been to Jersey, um, and, you know, <laughs> it's, um, it's not, it's not my favorite. Everything's really, really fucking expensive and dirty, and, um, I don't know, but I don't, I don't feel like my experience here has been an exemplary experience, so, yeah. Uh, the captain just posted a link to my merch store. If you're into that sort of thing, there is a official Cheese Dog Mafia shirt that is pretty cool. I think it's cool. Um, and there's, there's a pint glass with my fucking face on it. And, um, you know, other shirts, hats, stickers... You name it. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so if you wanna, if you wanna check out merch, there's merch. It's cool stuff. Um, if you wanna get down with the kickdown, there's um, there's the money links in the description. There is a Discord server. We'd love to see you there. Um, maybe sometime this weekend or this week we'll do uh, like a voice chat type thing 
Captain's going mobile, done with Link. That's that's fine, man. Thanks. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You're the best. That's true. Yeah. Sorry, I'm um not not the most entertaining person today. It's just been a long day. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not bitching. I'm happy. I'm glad that we're here, and I'm really, like I said, I'm really grateful, and I'm, I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. I kind of just, you know, had to bitch a little bit, because my baby's hurt, and it's sad. Um, but, you know, y'all are taking care of us real well. Thank you so much. Oh, Ryan Eck, thank you. Yeah, y'all are taking really good care of us. Um, Satan thanks you. She'll... She'll, she's gonna be fine. She's just got she's just got ouchies. She'll heal up. Um, yeah, and you know, in the meantime, all of those all those kickdowns you guys threw our way are going directly to keeping her comfy and cozy. I'm gonna buy her some nice uh, nice doggy treats and uh, maybe yeah a new toy. She needs some more food too. She's not out of food yet, but she's getting kind of low. Her uh, her little saddle bags. No, there's still there's still a pretty good amount in there. There's a couple pounds in there. Um, yeah, she's got maybe like five days worth of food left in there, but um, I don't want to I don't want to refill it until it's empty because she can't be carrying extra weight on her back right now. I might have to carry her food actually, which kind of sucks because it's. You know, <laughs> it's a few extra pounds on my back, and I'm already carrying all the other gear in the water. Um, I'm happy to do it, of course, because that's, that's what I do. But, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, she, she likes to pull her own weight. She really does. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking chill out, veg out, snuggle my dog. Hi, sweetie. Look at this sad baby. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. Snuggle the dog, watch a movie, take it easy. Need your toy? You don't even want your toy? Sad. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Your lip is stuck on your tooth. You want to say hi to the people? She's like, Dad, why you put that in my face? What are we doing? Where's the people? Are you a girl, Satan? Are you a sweetie? No tail wags? Baby! Baby! Do you want a pepperoni? Oh, okay, hold on. I'll get you a pepperoni. There you go. There you go. Okay, sweetie. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she just scraped her paws up real bad. Um, probably on the concrete or maybe some like scrap metal or something that was hidden in the in the grass. Jasper just wandered in asking about being in Europe. No, dude, I, I ride trains. That's why my channel got suggested to you. Go and watch my edited videos. This is a live stream. Go watch some of my other stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Alright folks, thanks so much. Um, sorry my my mood 
was not uh, the best today, because, yeah, we're, we're grieving for Satan's little paws. Um, but I, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really glad that y'all could join me, and thank you all so much for your support. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of Satan real nice, and she's gonna be back to normal in no time. And we'll be back to, uh, our crazy adventures, and, um, next time you see me, hopefully I'll be far away from here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright. Y'all take care, um, and I'll check back in soon and let you know how things are going. Thanks again so much to everybody that got down with the kickdown. Um, join us in the Discord if you feel like it. Alright, I'll catch y'all later. Take care. Satan. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. <laughs>